Wrong way driver took the life of a new mother and now her family wants some justice. The chaos unfolded on I-20 in Duncanville near the Cedar Ridge exit. That driver caused a huge chain reaction crash and police say he was drunk. News 8's Damon Fernandez is live there tonight to explain what happened. Damon? You know, Cynthia, investigators say one of the most dangerous lanes to encounter a wrong way driver is the far left lane. That's right, the fast lane of any highway. They say that's because the drunk driver believes they're traveling in the right direction. Well, that's what happened on Saturday when a drunk driver hit and killed a young mother who was only trying to make her way home. It's a YouTube video many people are talking about right now. That dark Nissan Armada you see is racing the wrong way on I-20 in Duncanville. Uh, for at least two to three miles. It was just after four in the afternoon. Investigators say Guillermo Suarez is the reckless driver, allegedly intoxicated as witnesses filmed him speeding eastbound on the westbound lane, ultimately causing a series of accidents. One spinning off from the other. He actually, the last accident, ended up hitting uh, somebody head on and the lady in that vehicle actually died at the scene. 23 year old Amberly McCray is the driver who died at the scene. That video of her last moments too emotional for her family and friends. McCray is a young mother of a nine month old son. Relatives say she just dropped her son off to be with his dad and she was heading back home to Grand Prairie when the accident happened. There was a lot of by a lot of people that actually after the accident happened stopped to try and help the people that were injured. Flowers have been placed in the area where McCray's car was hit head on and you can still see debris left on the highway from that tragic crash. It, it was a pretty bad scene. We've learned it's not the first time Guillermo Suarez has been accused of being intoxicated behind the wheel. He's been in and out of jail since 2004 on charges including DWI, evading arrest, aggravated assault, drugs and weapons possession. Suarez is now in the intensive care unit in the sheriff's custody. He's being charged with intoxication manslaughter and I believe he had an outstanding warrant for driving while intoxicated. Still Amberly McCray's grieving family is stunned right now. Her mom says their message to Suarez is he's going to feel what he did to their family. And McCray's family was too emotional to speak on camera, but they did want to send a strong message to drunk drivers, urging them to get help. They're also asking community members avoid showing images of the graphic crash that happened out here. We've elected not to show those on air today. They're saying that it's just too much for them to take right now. In Duncanville, Demond Fernandez, Channel 8 News. All right.